today we're going to do a little bit of driving in downtown Hanoi. We're heading towards the old quarter right now. Maybe today I'll just throw some lessons at you how to drive in Vietnam. Lesson number one, everybody in Vietnam drives like so you can drive like too. Just expect everybody's trying to hit you. Cars are going to come out of nowhere. Scooters are going to come out of nowhere. People are going to come out of nowhere. Anything that can happen on the road will happen and will happen to you all the time. On top of everything else, you are going to be completely surrounded by scooters all the time. People driving scooters badly. People driving them fast. People driving them slow. People driving them with a ton of loaded on them. People driving them with a ton of animals loaded on them. You can see, what's the craziest animal? that is strapped to the back of the scooter. Hey, this is safe. This way I can tell what's happening in front of me. I can see any dangerous potholes coming up. Maybe if I'm looking for a specific store. All that is available right here. Oh, well, there's a bus. Good thing you called it up. Uh, let's go with lesson number two here. There is no personal space. You know how if you're driving a bike at home, people kind of stay away from you a bit more, give you a little bit more braking room than a car. Not here. Oh, we skipped ahead to lesson number five. You just take a turn. You don't have to wait for it to open. Just turn in front of you. Vietnamese left. Look at us. Look at us go. Oh, might as well go in the other lane. Cut way across traffic. Yeah, this will work. This is perfect. Boom. And then just goose it. If you don't know how to take a turn correctly, just find yourself a nice shield. Somebody else to take a hit for you if you don't know what you're doing. So these guys are all taking a left. I'm just gonna put somebody on my right when we go through this intersection. And that makes it really easy. Follow them, do not stop. Don't think too much, don't be too courteous. Don't let somebody else cut in front. See, you still have traffic coming in. They're still gonna try to cut you off. This guy doesn't know what the f he's doing. I have a car behind me trying to run me over. Boom, easy left. Back to lesson number two, no personal space. If you suck at driving, it's really good news because chances are there's gonna be people so close to either side of me you can't possibly fall over. All right, here we go. Like, we just don't have time for this right now. There's just no time to wait. So every cop movie that you've ever seen, they drive up on the sidewalk. You can do that here. You can live out your fantasies. Just, yep. You can follow the leader. You can strike your own trail. You can do it. You don't need a pistol or a badge. Look at us go. Look at us. Look at us. I don't need a badge. I don't need sirens. You just kind of, you just go for it. If she can do it, you can do it. Uh, you definitely don't want to signal ever. Uh, the only time you're going to see turn signals at all is when somebody mistakenly pressed the button and left it on. And then they're going to just let it roll the entire time they're on their scooter. We're in this nice little alley right now. Alleys are great little shortcuts while you're bopping around Hanoi. Also an awesome area to get T-boned by somebody. That's our favorite thing in the world. Let's use an alley as a shortcut if you can pick up some fresh meat while you're here, maybe do a little seafood shopping. I'm sure that every scooter that's driven past there has thrown some of that water from that manhole lid onto a shrimp, kind of adding something tasty to it. And now I'm stuck behind the people. 